Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another crash course. So here I'm going to explain to you about how to work with the filter. So uh, all is done by using JavaScript, right? It's very simple, very basic, a very much similar UI, but only difference you see is now we have added up a filter functionality to filter our post. So for example, if I need to uh, just uh, filter the post one, uh, so I just want to click here post one. As soon as I type post one and now we can see only the post one and if rest if I just only type here post and then it shows post three and if nothing matches here we could not find is anything right so all is done by using JavaScript so let's jump in and get started for this beautiful tutorial so let's jump into and in how we can bring this all happen right so it's a very basic HTML, all copied from a previous video, right? So you can grab this, so all is the difference of this div tags, okay? So you need to do is to uh, put this div and inside this div you have our filter dash post, which is a class which I use for my CSS and inside everything happens here. So I give it the input type of text, class of filter for my CSS an ID which is very important to grab this ID and search through it and on key up is a function which fires up whatever we type from our keyboard it fires up so this is the uh, this is the keyboard event and on key up is a function so you can watch my JavaScript course where I explain this and next we have a function inside that so whenever we call whenever we have a event we call this function so this function I created the uh, style.css main.js all given in the description of my code you can copy and start working with the JavaScript which is our main crux right so before starting this I'll just explain to you that uh, this search block is a function and on key up which we give it as a keyboard event so just create a very first function real quick so I created a function with the name of search block right so inside this function we need to get the filter property so whatever uh, we, we need this uh, that whenever we uh, type from the keyboard everything works with that so we created the filter functions and grab this by using document dot get element by ID because this is what we have given the ID DOM property so I use here document dot get element by ID inside that I use here a filter right so inside this filter I need to grab my table because uh, the reason why I just give this ID of a table record because inside this table record we have our data which which is in the form of uh, which is inside the table body which contains tr now we want to get the result filter on based of title right so if if, if someone would type post one show only post one rest of all are hidden right so it only shows the matching results uh, that is title in, in our case so I, I also grab this inside the table uh, we need to fetch get these properties so for this we need to get the table ID so I get it the uh, name of mm, table record equal to document dot get element by ID very much same what we are do what we did in the last video next we need to get the table records now the question arises why because inside the table we have our TRs right we need to get the TRs to get all the collections whatever we have inside the data of the table so to fetch record now the question is now we get the TRs how we want to contain uh, how we want to get the result inside TDs which is also comprises inside the TR so we have five collections so if you just keep remember we have our first TR which is a uh, inside a table head inside table body we have our one two three right so we have three collection inside the table body and inside the table head we have only one TR so the meaning is that so if I just give, go here and inside table um, so I just need to hear table record dot get element by tag name now you see that what actually the meaning what I suggest uh, you in my in, in the in just a few seconds ago so I just copy this and put that in my um, what we say is the uh, helper function console so uh, of the Google so I just uh, type here console the log and type here TR and you see 
now we get the full collection. The reason why, if I hover over it, you see the first one is the TR for our table head and rest of all TR, uh, which has a bunch of properties inside that, but we don't need to mess up with that. And next we have our TR for TD. So we get the table and inside we have our HTML collections, which I have our table records. So that's the reason why I did this every step i want to explain to you guys so you guys understand so we get the filter whatever we want to filter the results we get inside the table and get all the trs because inside trs we have the tds to fetch the results so how we want to grab the td and the title on base of title filter the results on base of title so i use a loop here you see we have four collections so so for this I, we have a loop here so i use here from the zero I as long as I is less than tr dot length so it going to add the increment and inside this we have to see the TDs right so for the TDs I use here tr because we are we actually what, what actually it means so because it's a collection so we use as an array and get each results I start from zero so for the first day a tr we have our uh, get the element of that tag name so that tag name will be TD, right? So how we want to know it, we just pass it, pass it up here. So, and we are getting the result on base of title. So I give it the index of zero. So this, this line is a bit confusing. So I just do is I copy this all and paste it, paste it up here. And you see if I just uh, remove this out and put here zero and press enter, it says TR is not defined okay so all i need to do is to copy this and paste it up here and now i want to put what i have did before um that says undefined okay so if i just put up here one or two you see now now this post two. so actually that means that for because we're not using loop here we can't loop use here a loop we straight up give the value of two which is zero one and two so this post two is the html collection with the index two so inside tr we have the td so we get the tag name of td and this zero means that we want to fetch the result on based of title we need to filter the results on if i put up here one you see that it will give the this is post two so just want to show you real quick enter and now you see this is post one so that actually the whole meaning of using this next index property right so we are almost done and understand with the loop why we have used next we need to see if there are results so very simple i put up here if td and if there is a data and we need the value so for getting the td value i need to get here text value i use a variable with the name of text value so because we have our tags you see we have our tags enclosed and inside we have the data but if, what if we need to get only the value so for the value i need to do is to is to get the td dot whatever we have inside the loop and we need that loop to get only the tax content or we need to we are happy to get the td dot inner HD, whatever the results can be now what that actually does it means so all i'm gonna do uh -huh, that's because i'm using live server so I keep removing my thing so i copied that and pasted up here next we have our tr i just copy that and paste up here and put here two and i'm happy with the zero and next i need to get only the td dot tax content so you see um actually i need to bring this in so bring this in let td equal to that and now i need to give it the td dot tax content now you see that td actually it removes everything now for td dot inner html inner html so that want to give you the same results right so that's the reason why you so whatever the value is inside the td it should matches up so how it matches up 
now we are going to do in the next step so whatever the value we have so we have the text value and change that to uppercase so the meaning of that is sometime if we type in lowercase or uppercase so it will uh, this function will uh, put uh, will um, put every text into the uppercase and next we need to get the property of index of so this is again a new function for you so the index of checks whatever the position of the current value so if it matches for instance if i just want to give you a real example here right so we have fruits right we have a bunch of array here and oh, oh that's wrong syntax so if i have apple we have cherry and carrot carrot actually not a fruit right we have banana right so if I want to get the fruits, so uh, if I need to get the results for the apple, so I pass up here, uh, here is zero. So that's what actually is mean. So whatever the results, is, if it matches, so it will gives me the result. So I need to filter the result on base of this filter property. So that means whatever the value we have. So actually, if I just console the log and filter that out and I need to command this out for a while now you see if I put up here Abdullah and press enter so that's give me that the reason because um, we are keep continuously getting the so that should be filter dot are not yeah that should be dot value dot to uppercase so dot value dot to uppercase and that's fine I'll just remove this out from here and if I type here whatever as long as i'm ta typing from the keyboard you see that now we are getting the values so so what i actually mean here that we get the value and if that value whatever the index if it's positive means index of works in a way that if the results are positive that means we have get the matching results and if it's negative that means we haven't get our desired results so so uh, I just give a condition so as long it's greater than minus one that means it's positive so that means the results are matching so we need to get each index value which is the tr of i and if that results matches so we can display so whatever the t records inside that so tr dot style dot display equal to none right that means and if in the other case the result doesn't matches up so inside our tr and that tr is actually coming from this tag name inside tr we have the collection of data so we loop through it and check all from the loop and only shows the results which are fine otherwise you can display a none right so as simple as the, as it and i hope we are almost done with everything now it just saves it and check this out and if i type here uh, wrong nothing is shown up if i just type a post one that's work if i want to post two that's work right so that's awesome and if i just simply type here post so that's all work so th i believe you guys understand from this beautiful tutorial how to filter the table from the uh, given uh, from the using JavaScript right so that's it all for this video I hope you guys will enjoy so let's sh let's uh, meet up in the next video right so please leave a like and subscribe and I want to see you for the next time